Hi, welcome to another installment of Smutty News TV. Uh, we've got a really special guest with us today. He's sitting just in the chair over here, the orange inflatable chair. Uh, we've got Paul Barber with us. Uh, you may say, who the hell is Paul Barber? Uh, well, if you've, had, if, you've, if you've ever had the Smutty Nose IPA, Paul is on the label, Paul wears the glasses. So uh, we're going to sit down and have a chat with Paul today and find a little bit more about the man behind the label. I'm Paul Barber. Uh, as you, as, as uh, JT said, I'm on the money, Smutty Nose label. And uh, I'm a, um, right at the moment, I'm an old man now. I was an old man then, a little bit younger than I am now, but not much. And I live in Raymond, Maine, and a very peaceful life. I'm retired, obviously. <coughs> but uh, it was interesting. One day, my son-in-law called up and asked if I could help him with a shoot. I didn't know what he was talking about as, well, or as far as where was concerned, but I knew it was something to do with photography since he's a photographer. Then he told me that he needed to have another old geezer because the people that were doing the shoot had wanted a couple of old geezers to put on the label. Well, I guess I, guess I qualified for that according to my son-in-law. But he wanted me to bring some old clothes, you know, old beat up dungarees and shirt. And make sure you wear those funny old glasses that you've got. And uh, of course, they're nothing but tort plain old tortoise shell glasses. They're not funny old glasses. So we did, we came, and, and he, he told me how to get to Elliot. And I got down there and found the place. And he ended up taking about well, probably 100, 100 of pictures. And of them, three of them ended up on the IPA six-pack, the, the three different shots there. And then also, we, I later found out that uh, the, the company, an, a, a, a distributor out in Pennsylvania, had put the pictures on his truck, a big, great big truck. So it got to be spread all over the place. Cy Collins, the other fellow in the picture, was a little bit older. He was he was probably 93 when he took the picture, and he and I were just reminiscing about the various and sundry things that we had done in our lives, and we found many corresponding things that we had both done together, and both of us also agreed that it wasn't it wasn't too bad to get paid for sitting still for a while, just sitting there for a while and get paid for it. That was all right. Do you had. Uh do you feel like you got a fair price for your work for the day? Oh yeah, yeah, we got a fair price. It surprised both of us. <laughs> but apparently it's whatever the, whatever the usual rate is or something like that. I didn't know, I didn't ask, I didn't care. And neither did he. But he, like I said, he did the first time he'd ever gotten paid for sitting still. He thought that was pretty good. What all did you and, uh, what all did you and Cy find that you had in common? Beg pardon? What all did you and Cy find that you had in common with each other? Oh, we both had been in, in various and sundry organizations. Uh, we were both Masons, and uh, we had both been in fire departments and that sort of thing. And, uh, Cy, I can't remember what he was. I think he was a, a, an accountant, but I'm not sure. I think he was some sort of an accountant. That was not my, not my forte. I didn't have anything to do with accounting. Anyway, he and I kept, in track, kept in track of each other until he died, and he died probably within three years of the time that we took the shoot. But his wife, I gave, I gave the pictures of the truck, I sent the pictures of the truck down to him, and his wife thought that was absolutely great. She thought that was the greatest to be, to be all over the place, not just in, not just in the IPA, but shown up and down the road. <coughs> so, um, do you, uh, do people ever recognize you? Right, right now you have this really huge beard, um, which you don't <laughs> no, normally have. Do you, no, do you find you get recognized? Uh, people didn't re don't recognize me, uh, for the most part, unless they know that I've been on the label. If they know that I've been on the label, then they recognize me. But it, it's kind of hard because uh, I don't have those same clothes. I don't have the glasses on, so it, it's, you know. And, Unless they happen to know me and knew, know that I had done the shoot and done the label, then they, they don't recognize me. But they recognize me <clears throat> once they've been told that I'm on the bottom. 
then they then they say, "Oh, that's you." Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, when uh, when I was walking back here earlier, a couple of the guys uh, on the bottling line were like, "Who's that old guy?" Yeah, that's I right. said, "You you've seen his picture how many times on every bottle of IPA that comes through and every six pack and, and twelve pack, and you don't recognize him?" <laughs> they said, "He's they, got this huge beard." They don't, they don't recognize me with the beard. They, they, they've always recognized me in the past when I've come in. They, they look and they say, I know who that is. I know who that is. It's on the bottom. They recognize me and they, you see it in the expression in their faces. They don't say that they recognize you, but you suddenly, the uh, recognition suddenly shows up. Oh, I know him. <laughs> Do you ever feel like Santa Claus when that happens? No. You see like this warm glow sort of show up on people's faces? No. <laughs> um. Now, the, the, the story that I've always heard about the photo shoot was that, that, that there was this ad in the paper for, uh, for Geezer's Wanted um, I, I for didn't a beer know, I didn't know about the ad, but I knew about the Geezer's because <laughs> <laughs> Chris had said that uh, the person that put the ad in the paper said she wanted a couple of old Geezer's for the, for the label. And I said, thanks a lot, Chris, thanks a lot. I'm an old geezer. Okay, we'll have, I'll, I'll help you with the shoot anyway. It's no way to talk to your father-in-law, right? My brother-in-law. Oh. My son-in-law, my son-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, a lot of times on tours, uh, people will come in and, and, and you know, we have, we have the, the IPA shirts in our retail case. A lot of times people will come in and point to it and, and say, and, and tell us what they think. Uh, the, the story behind the label is uh, like there's some kind of narrative. Um, do you have your own version of, of what you think's happening in the label? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, only because I was in it. But a couple of old geezers. That's all I do, and having a having a beer. <laughs> and uh, uh, but I, I can imagine that people uh, uh, give all sorts of ideas of what there might be. A couple of old drunks in there because it's all those beer bottles around. A couple of old farmers that have taken a little while off, and then of course that that trailer in the back—they really can't figure out what in the world that has to do with the two old geezers sitting there. It doesn't have anything to do with it. It's just there. <laughs> so that, but I can I can understand people making up various and sundry stories on their own about what this represents. It really is it's perfectly natural. <laughs> And uh, so uh, th this is uh, the first of, of what we hope will be uh, some uh, some spotty news appearances for you. Um, we've got you coming to a festival uh, in October, right? Oh, you're yeah. you're going to be coming out. And I'll, 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 the beard will be gone. The beard will be gone, and I'll have the glasses on, and I'll have the same clothes. I still have the same clothes that I did, it, even though it was uh, what six eight. Eight years ago, eight, seven, yeah, eight, seven or eight years ago that we took the shoot. Yeah, you look like you've lost weight since then. Do they still fit you? Have you put them on recently? No, oh no, I do fit. I haven't. Uh, I've lost some weight. I've actually lost about twenty pounds. So that you know, I got older. Don't eat as much. So now I don't act. Don't act. Not not as active as I used to be. So I lost some weight. But other than that, everything's fine. Do you still drink Smutty Nose IPA? Oh yeah. Yeah, just tell it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul, thanks a lot for coming in to see us today. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time, and uh, if you guys want to come out and see Paul, he's going to be with us at the uh, New Hampshire Brewers Fest over at Red Hook here in Portsmouth on October 2nd at both sessions. So um, thank you. You can get your picture taken. You can give him a high five. He might even pour you a beer if you're lucky. See you later. Thank you.